A living will states your end of life choices. Most of us are familiar with the Terry Schiavo case where there wasn't a written living will. So it's more important than ever these days to write your end of life decisions while you're mentally competent to decide them in a living will. For instance, a living will typically says that if you're both physically and mentally incapacitated and your doctor and another doctor says that there's no reasonable probability of you recovering from being in a persistent vegetative state, an end stage condition or a terminal illness, then they won't do everything possible to keep you alive, but they will treat you with what's called palliative pain management. Further, it's important to state in the living will that you want artificial hydration withheld or withdrawn. On that point, even though medically there's not a difference between withholding and withdrawing artificial hydration, emotionally for family members, it's tougher to withdraw than to withhold artificial hydration. Likewise with artificial nutrition. So you should ensure that your living will states whether you want artificial hydration and nutrition withheld or withdrawn or whether you want that to be continued. In Florida, your healthcare surrogate, which is either the person you've appointed to make healthcare decisions for you if you're unable to do so, must abide by your living will if you signed a valid one. That means that if they decide they want you to have treatment that your doctors feel are contrary to your living will instructions, your living will will be honored.